Hello and welcome to Pure Strength Week 4. We've got cardio and core today. We're going to just jump right in, so go ahead and meet me with some easy butt kickers. We have about a three minute warm up, and then we've got four circuits to get through, four circuits of cardio, four circuits of core, and it's a doozy today. <laughs> we're at the end of our program, so we're going to really be leveling everything up. All right, come to one side of your mat, just nice and easy, shuffle, tap down. So you're just shuffling one side to the next, tapping down towards the floor. Use whatever space you've got. If you've got a lot of space, big a big shuffle. If you're limited, then you just stay within your space. Got about five more seconds here. Nice job. Step the feet. We're going to do step out side to side lunges, firing up the outside of the body. Nice and easy. We've got about 15 more seconds here. Make sure you're pushing out with the knee, pushing off the pinky edge side of the foot. All right, bring us in our nice and easy jog in place. Again, just getting that heart rate up nice and warm. Yep, ceiling fan's coming on. <laughs> didn't, take, didn't take too long to get warm. <laughs> All right, in about 15 seconds, we're gonna take this to the floor. We've got push-ups, part of our warm-up. Feel free to do these on your knees. Nice and easy, breathe, four, three, Two, all right, take it, hit the deck. Easy push-ups. You can go just halfway down, sh um, chest in line with elbows, or if it feels okay for you, go all the way down, chest to floor, then press back up. You got this, keep this going. You've got about five more seconds. We're gonna bring it up. Squats, when you're ready, back up. This is your last move for the warm up. We're gonna jump right into circuit one. We're gonna go cardio, then core, and we do it four times. Your first circuit, we've got three rounds. First round, 20 seconds, each move, there's three moves. Second round, 25 seconds. Last round, 30 seconds, the moves stay the same. All right, shake it out. We go in 10 seconds. Jump lunges is move number one. As we get close to end of number one, I'll give you move number two. Jump lunges to high impact, alternating reverse lunges. Ready, set, 20 seconds, let's go. So you do not have to jump this. You can step your lunges back if that feels better for your body. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hit the deck. We're taking this into mountain climbers. 20 seconds, each move, 60 seconds of solid work. Three, two, hit the deck, mountain climbers. Now move number three is gonna be the shuffle from our warm up with a tap down turn. We go in 10 seconds. Three, two, bring it up. Shuffle, turn, tap the floor. Shuffle, turn and tap. So again, if you've got space, use it. You're halfway through. You're gonna face your one wall and then turn to face the side walls on the touchdown and time. Whew. 20 seconds off. We go again. This time, 25 second efforts. Exact same three moves. Breathe, hydrate, recover. We go in seven seconds. Set up for your lunges, jump or step. Three. Two, let's go. 25 seconds on the clock. So a little bit longer effort. Try to give it everything you got, stay with it. 10. Mountain climbers in seven. Three, two, hit the deck, run it out. 25 seconds. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. 
Gaze is slightly forward. Knees straight down the center of your body. You got this. Five seconds, we're up. Shuffle tap downs. Three, two, start on one side. Tap down, turn shuffle. You got this, come on. 10 more seconds, come on. Welcome back, Stacy. Three, two, recover, 25 seconds. Final round, 30, 30, 30. Longest effort, we're already kind of fatigued. <laughs> Breathing heavy, catch your breath. <sighs> All right, we're going about 10 seconds. Jump lunges or standing reverse lunges if you want to take it low impact. Three, two, final round and we're done with these moves. Let's go. 30, 30, 30. Three moves, 30 seconds apiece. Then we're into the core. Stay with it. You got this. Eight seconds, mountain climbers on deck. Three, two, hit the floor, run it out. So in your climbers, keep going. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Bring your butt down out of a pike. So you're in a plank. You're bracing through the core. Knees straight down the center of your chest. You want to various this, do them at the wall, or on a coffee table or a chair, bringing the earth to you. Five, four, three, two, shuffle, turn, tap downs. Let's turn, tap the floor. Shuffle long ways, turn, tap the floor. This is definitely one of those moves if you've got more space, you can really get into this, come on. 15 seconds, we're done. Stay with it, 10. Three, two, recover. Take 30 seconds. Then we're on the floor for abs. Uh. Whew. All right, bring it down. You got about 10 seconds. All the way onto the floor. Knees bent, feet down, fingertips behind the ears. Wrap your elbows up towards the ceiling. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Elbows point towards the knees now. Bring your knees to tap your elbows. Tap the feet towards the floor. All right, we're in it. Three minutes of core. Then we're done with circuit one. We got three to go. Now, as you're here, tapping your knees to your elbows, we're not moving anything in the upper body. We're forcing the lower abdominals to do the work. I want you to focus on pulling your navel to your spine and broadening that low back onto the floor so we're not arching any of that. But we're staying really engaged. You got this, come on. 20 more seconds here, then we're gonna switch it and do just the upper body. Get a little superficial burn in that rectus abdominis layer with basic crunches. In 10 seconds we go. Make sure that low back's not arching. It's okay if the feet don't touch the floor. Use your abdominal strength, three, Two, feet down, broaden the elbows wide, basic crunch pulse at the top. So same setup, but now the elbows are a little wider. Feet are on the floor, knees are bent, core is braced, low back has no arch. <sighs> Starting to feel a little burn right in that layer beneath the skin. Stay with it, breathe. 10 seconds, we're gonna put both of those moves together. We're gonna wrap the elbows in, knees tap. We'll do 10 crunches, then we tap the knees again. Ready, set. All right, 10 crunches, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up, wrap the elbows in, knees tap, 3, 2, 1. 10 crunches, widen the elbows, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. 
Hold it up, wrap the elbows in, tap three, two, one. Keep it going, one more minute here. Ten crunches, three knee taps. You got this, keep it going. Ten, three, two, one. Stay with it. Come on. Is your core on fire yet? <laughs> Stay with it. You got this. You have less than 20 seconds. All right, finish here. Three. Two, one, and done. All right, we have whew, repeated circuits. We have two moves back to back, 25 seconds a piece, then we rest for 25 seconds. Your first move is a cross feet jump squat. So we'll start with the feet slightly bent. We'll cross and then jump. Now, you could also do the cross and then just squat, no jump. You wanna take it more low impact. All right, get ready. We go in 10 seconds. That's move number one. Move number two is explosive push-up. While you're preparing, I just want to show you. Knees down, explode, lean in the push-up, or knees up, explode in the push-up. 25 seconds, ready, set. Let's go, cross, jump. We're here for 25 seconds. We alternate lower body, upper body. Cross, jump, or squat. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, hit the deck, explosive push-ups, knees down or up, 25 seconds, non-stop, recovery on this other side of this move, you got this, stay with it, seven, three, two, Time, recover, 25 seconds. Next set, five, highs knee, five high knees, one Heisman. Looks like this, one, two, three, four, five, Heisman, Heisman. Move number two, spider climbers. Traditional climbers if you prefer, or foot to the outside of the hand. 25, 25, we go in five seconds. Five high knees, Heisman, Heisman. Three, two, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, Heisman, Heisman. Heisman is your lateral move here. Knee still drives to the chest. Six seconds. Spider climbers or traditional mountain climbers. Push through the upper body. You got this, 25 seconds. Make sure you're pushing through the arms. There's a moment where both feet are off the floor. Five seconds, come on. Three, two, done. All right, last round. Squat, top the floor, and then jump. That's move number one. Move number two is the bottom half of a burpee. Just that, or dock and kick. Bottom half of the burpee. One's low impact, one's high impact. Get ready, we go. Squat, tap, jump. Three, two, let's go. Now, if you don't wanna do the jump, you're just gonna do a calf raise here. Feet stay wide. It's just a vertical leap. 10 seconds, we hit the floor. Bottom half of the burpee or add the donkey kick. Let's go. You got this. Keep it going. Keep it going. Whew. Stay with it. Five, four, 
more. Three, two, rest. We go one more round. Exact same thing. Same six moves, 25 seconds a piece. Right now you're recovering. 15 seconds we go. Cross the feet, jump squat or just regular squat. Start with the feet wide. Five, four, three, two, hit it. So when you jump your feet wide, come into your squat. Five, four, three, two explosive push-ups on deck. Knees down or up, that's up to you. But you're here for 25 seconds. Ten more seconds, then we rest. And recover. 25 seconds off. Five high knees, Heisman. Fifteen seconds we go. Uh, hydrate, recover. And five we go. Three, two, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lateral, lateral. You got this. Hopefully super breathy. Three, two, spider climbers or traditional climbers. Push through the hands, keep the weight in the upper body. You can do this fast or slow. Whatever you've got, you're giving it everything and recover. All right, squat, tap the floor, vertical jump. Last round. Whew. How are we doing? How are you doing at home? Whew. All right, we're going five, get ready. Feet wide, three, two, tap, jump or calf raise. We're here for 25 seconds, come on. Two more moves and then we're done with circuit two of cardio. We have core left. All right, bottom half of the burpee with the donkey kick or none. Oh. Whew, 10 seconds down, 15 to go. Oh my gosh. Whew. As good as you got. Three, two, recover. Recover. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Breathe. Hydrate. Okay. All right, we're back onto the core. <sighs> You have about 45 seconds left. You get a nice long recovery here. <laughs> Hopefully really feeling like you needed it <laughs> by the end of that effort. <sighs> All right, let's wrap up circuit two with our core. We go in about 20 seconds. Meet me on your backs. Ha. Huh. We're gonna start with a double leg lift. So you can have your hands out on the floor, palms down. You can slide your hands underneath your sits bones if that gives you a little bit more support through the low back. 
What I want you to focus on here is using your core to lift and lower the legs. So the moment you lower the legs, you feel the low back arch. I want you to back off and not go as low. Start with your legs up towards the sky. Head stays grounded, shoulders stay grounded. Zip the inner thighs together, lower to your point of control. Lift back up. We're not going for speed here. We're focusing on control and stability. So really focus on listening to your body. The moment you feel that low back lift up, that's your end range and that's okay. Maybe it's not anywhere near the floor. That's okay. You work up towards that. So really focus. For me, it really helps sometimes to close my eyes so I can really feel how the body is feeling in the move. Maybe you don't notice the pelvis and lo low back moving until you close the eyes and you eliminate all these extra distractions. <sighs> really strong here. All right, now if this is plenty hard, I want you to stay exactly as you are. If it feels okay though, we're gonna take the arms overhead, legs long, we're gonna turn this into a more traditional jackknife. When you're ready, keep those inner thighs zipped together, keep your head on the floor, arms and legs sandwich over the belly button, lower to your point of control. And if you had the hands under the sit bones and you slid them out, your point of control might be very different. That's okay. Really brace the core, especially as you're lowering the arms and legs. You've got long levers moving away from the midline. This should feel tough. You got this. All right, keep going. I just wanna let you know where, where, where we are going. If that feels challenging, Keep doing that. If you can, we're gonna come to our end range, hold for five counts, and then lift up for two. All right, so start from the bottom. Sandwich up, one. Lower down, sandwich up, two. Lower down, hold your end range, five, four, three, two, one. Two jackknives, tap, extend, tap, extend, hold, five. Brace the core, three, Two, two jackknives, one, two, lower, hold, five, four, three, two, sandwich up, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, one more time, two jackknives, Five, hollow hold, hold, five, four, three, two, release. Whew. All right, bring it back up. Let's come into circuit three. All right, so we have three moves that we're slowly gonna put together for one full body combination. First move is 15 seconds. Second move is 20. We put them all together for 30 seconds. We'll rest and then we're gonna come back down. First move, lateral high knees. We're gonna drop down. So we go over for five, five, four, three, two, one. Now, not yet, but when we get to the 20 second, whatever leg starts up, we're gonna go for a single leg burpee. If the single leg is too much, by all means, please put the other leg down and do a more traditional burpee. And then after we come out of that burpee, we're gonna go skater, skater. So that's the eventual. We're gonna start with the 15 second lateral high knees by themselves. Get ready, we go in six seconds. Just the lateral high knees. Five on the way down, five on the way back. Ready, set, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. Three more seconds. Rest, 10 seconds. So now we're gonna add on the burpee. Five counts down, one burpee. Five counts down, this time we go for 20 seconds. We go in five. Four, three, 20 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. One leg or two. Your other leg should be free now. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Time, rest, 10 seconds. 30 seconds, we add on the skaters. Two skaters. We start with the high knees. Ready, set, let's go. Five. Your single leg burpee, whatever leg is free. Skate, skate. Five. Single leg burpee or double. 
Then skater, skater, halfway. Rest. Whew. Okay. We come back down. It's like a pyramid. We're going to start at the 30 seconds. So we do all three moves together. Then we take off the skater. Then we take off the burpee. We go in 15 seconds. Whew. Breathe. 10 seconds. We go. All right. We made it to the top. Let's come back down. Four, three, two. Lateral high knees for five. Skaters. Single burpees. And if you're doing the single burpee and it's like feels like you're not doing anything, you're doing a single leg burpee. Let it feel how it's gonna feel. That's still incredible. And time, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds, ditch the skaters. Oh my gosh. Ready, set, let's go. Just the high knee and the burpee. All right, time. Whew. Rest, 10 seconds. Just the high knee. 15 seconds on the clock. Hit it! Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Five, four, time. Oh my God. Whew. Nice job. Okay. Take a minute, rest, recover. We have core. And this will bring us to the end of circuit three. We only have one circuit after this. Make sure you're hydrating. All right, get ready. We go in 15 seconds. We're going cross body work. So same thing as before with the leg and the arm. But this time, we're going to keep our right knee bent. Extend your left leg long. Extend your right arm overhead. We're going to sandwich the right hand and the left leg together. You're going to come over the center of the body. Ready, set, let's go. Now, this time, the head will probably have to come off the floor in order to achieve this cross body move. We want to make contact hand to shin, hand to foot, hand to knee, thigh, whatever you can reach for. You got this. Come on. All right, two more. We're gonna hold connection, so hand to leg hold. Now don't change anything, keep the contact, hand to shin, knee, whatever, extend your right leg long. 10 times, lower and lift your right leg, 10. Don't let your hand leave your leg, eight, seven, you got this, six, five, you feeling the shakes yet? Four. Three, two, one. Let your right foot find the floor. Extend both arms overhead. Extend your left leg long. You're going to come up into a sit up. Right, uh, right forearm, left knee. Lower it back down. 10. Right forearm, left knee. 9, 8, 7. Sit ups, crossing the body. 6, 5, uh, 4. Three, we're gonna hold that sit up, maintain contact, hold, 10, nine, yes you can, squeeze, engage, seven, six, five, four, oh, three, two, release, we're not done though. Extend your right leg long, bend your left knee, left arm overhead, cross the body, 10. Can you get your hand and your leg to touch? Anywhere, it doesn't have to be the shin bone. Four.
four, three, and two we hold. Maintain contact, hold. Extend your left leg long, lift and lower. 10, yes you can. Nine, try not to hold your right leg with your left hand, use your abs. You're just, you're just maintaining contact, we're not gripping, right? Five, oh, four, three, two, one, release and extend. We've got those um, sprinter sit-ups, forearm to knee, 10, nine, you got this, eight, seven, six, five, four, in three we hold, in two we hold, maintain contact, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you're done. Oh my God. All right, we saved the best for last, Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We go in 25 seconds. Four rounds. We've got four burpees, four lateral squat jumps. As many rounds as you can do in 20 seconds. Four and four, four and four, four and four. The burpees are just the top half of the burpees, so plank burpees. We go in seven seconds. Four burpees, four lateral squat hops. Ready? 20 seconds. Let's go. Four, three, two. Now lateral squat hops. Four, three, two. Now burpees. Four. Time. 10 seconds off. We have that three more times. Get ready, three, two, let's go. Ha. Time, two more. Ready, set, go. Time, one more round. Ready, set, go. Oh my gosh. Rest, 30 seconds, two new moves. Four plank jacks. Four bottom half of the burpees. All right, get ready. Plank jacks, five, four, three, two. Let's go, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Keep going. Low impact option, instead of jumping the feet out, step right, step left, step in right, step in left. You can also step the feet to the outside of the hands. Recover. It's also really helpful to do this on like a bench or a chair if doing this at the floor is really, really hard. That's gonna bring the earth to you, meet you and where you're at today. Ready, set. Let's go, round two of four, four. Now, if you want to level up instead of the frog jumps, we can do a lightning bolt. One knee in, one leg back. Three, two, one. Then right into your plank jacks. So you can do both feet outside the hands, or you can do a single knee driver, lightning bolt. Recover. Two rounds down, two to go. All right, three, two, let's go, four. Ha. 
Oh my gosh. Whew. Five, four, three, two, time. One more round. One more round. We go on five. This is it, final round. Three, two, let's go. Oh my gosh. Five, four, three, two, rest. All right. We just have one more two minutes about a. It's the same as move one. Except instead of four, we do one. So one burpee, one lateral squat. Oh, we go in 15 seconds. We do it four times and we're done with the cardio portion. All right, five. One and one. Ready, set. Let's go. One burpee, one lateral squat hop. Rest. One down. Three to go. Ready. Set. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Time. Two more to go. This is it. Ready. Let's go. Final minute. Eight seconds. Uh, three, two, done. One more round. Oh my gosh. Three, two, go. Now, this is your last round. It's meant to be hard. It's meant to challenge you and push you to your end. But you have four seconds left. Can you get one more in? Come on. Done. Time rest. Okay, grab some water. Crawl like me around your floor because you're dying. Oh, geez. Whew. Week four. I mean, programs don't play no jokes. As the weeks go on, they get crazier and crazier. All right, you're in a nice long recovery now. You have about 30 more seconds. And then we have one more core circuit, and we did all four. And we're done. Okay. We have two mini circuits in this next core song. Bicycle and hollow hold are on deck. After that, we're going to flip it over to a plank. We've got cross climbers, and we're going to hold knee to elbow. So still focusing on crossing the midline and then holding the contraction. Time under tension. All right, meet me on your backs. Three minutes and we're out of here. Bicycles, let's go 45 seconds. Nice, slow, and controlled. We're not looking for little temper tantrums here, kicking the legs. What we want to find here is so much control. So if I ask you at any point to hold one side for like five seconds, you could. That's the control we're looking for here in the core. So you're pulling your navel into your spine. You're taking the arch of the low back. You're bringing elbow to knee. You're extending the opposite leg. Then we crisscross. Slow and controlled. Now in about 15 seconds, we're gonna hold right elbow to left knee for a 20 second effort. Then we're gonna switch and hold for another 20 seconds on the other side. Then we're done with this. That's all we have to do. Three, two, find your twist, hold it. It's okay if the elbow and the knee aren't touching. But what I want you to find is the holding this contraction for 20 seconds. So don't drop out of it, hold. Can you pull your knee in a little bit more towards the chest? 
Can you bring your elbow a little closer to the knee? You got this, come on. Eight. We switch sides in six. Then we hold in four, three, two. Bicycle switch. Now hold, 20 seconds. Pull that right knee in towards that left elbow. Hold and squeeze. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Stay with us. 10 more seconds. Can you pull them in a little closer? Maybe just even a micro, micro movement. And release. Flip it over. Cross climbers, meaning right knee, left elbow. We don't have to go fast here. But if you want to run this, run it. <laughs> if you're like, I want to go fast, that's fine. You can go fast here. But what I want you to find is that knee is coming towards the opposite elbow, maybe even tapping or making some kind of connection. So you're engaging through the obliques. You got this. Come on. Stay with it. 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 15 more seconds. Then we're going to hold. So if you notice, this is the exact same thing you just did laying on your back supine. <laughs> so if planks are not in your wheelhouse, flip it over. Do the same thing we just did with the bicycles. This is the exact same move. Just done in a plank instead of laying on your back. It's still a bicycle, and we're still gonna hold the bicycle cross and contraction. Ready, set, right knee, left elbow, hold. Hold. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. 13 seconds. Push the floor away. So you're rounding your upper back a little bit. Five, four, three, two, switch. 20 seconds, this is how we finish class today. Stay, stay, stay. You got this. Now, as you're getting tired, the knee's gonna pull away. Push it closer towards the elbow. Push the floor away a little bit more for eight. You got this, stay with it. Six, four, three, two, you're done. Oh my God. <laughs> Week four, pure strength, cardio and core, check and done. All right, we're already on the floor, so let's stay on the floor, flip it over. <laughs> Wide legs and then fold down the center, stretch out through the hamstrings, the inner thighs, the groin, and just breathe. Nice job today. Be really proud of yourself. All right, bring your legs into like a deer pose, so kind of like 90-90. Whatever leg is to the front, twist over that leg and come into a little bit of a spinal twist through the hips and the back. If it feels okay, you may even come down onto the forearms, but if you're like, oh, that doesn't feel good on my back, come right back up onto the hands. And walk it back up, just switch sides. And release, come into any comfortable seated position that feels good. Circle through the wrists. We did a lot of plank variation things today. And then reach the arms forward, round the back. And then pull the arms back, cactus shape them. Extend through the spine and the chest. Let's do that a couple more times. Reach and round. Extend and open. Let's go one more here. <clears throat> and release. Woo! Week four, cardio and core, check and done. Awesome job today. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, be well.